Gemara Brachot, Perik Rishon, Daf Beit Amud Aleph, starting Mishnah Meimatai. Mishnah. Meimatai Korin Shma Baravin. From when may we fulfill the Shma in the evening? From when can we recite Shema in the evening? From the time that Kohanim may eat their truma at nightfall. Until the end, and they can recite Shema until the end of the first watch. These are the words of Rabbi Eliezer. But the sages, it may be recited until midnight. Rabban Gamil Omer Am Omer Ad Shigale Amud Hashachar Shachar until the light of dawn rises. Mase Uva Uvanav Mi Beit Hamishte. It once happened that Rabban Gamliel's sons came home from a banquet or from a uh, from like an inn. Amrullah. They said to their father, Rabban Gamliel, Lo karinu et shma, we have not yet recited shma. Amar lehem, he said to them, Im lo ala amud hashacha chayavin atem likrot. If the light of dawn has not yet risen, you are obligated to recite shma. Velozo bilvad amru, and it is not only in this case that the sages said until midnight, Rather, whatever sages said can be performed until midnight. The mitzvah extends until the light of dawn rises. Uh, the burning of the sacrifice, the fats and the limbs... Uh, the, so the time extends until the light of dawn rises because the fats and limbs burn throughout the night. Bechol hanechalim leyom echad, and all that may be eaten for one day. Mitzvatan ad sheyale amud hashachar. The mitzvah extends until the light of dawn rises. Im ken lama amru chachamim archatzot. If so, why did the sages say until midnight? Kedei leharchik adam min ha'avera in order to distance a person from now the Gemara Tana Hecha Kai what is the Tana referring to? Dekat Dekatane Meematai that he asks from when that is from from when can we fulfill the obligation to write to recite Shema? Vetu and furthermore why does the Tana teach uh, the law of Shema in the evening first? Let him teach the law of Shema from the morning first. Tana The Tana refers to the verse where it's written when you lie down and when you arise. That's in the Shema. Vehachi katane, and this is what the missionary is saying. Zman kriyat shma de shechiva emat. When is the time for reciting the shma for lying down? Misha'a sheha kohanim nichnasin lechol bitrumatan. From the time that kohanim were tame and they enter to eat their truma. Now, an alternative source for saying uh, shma of evening first. Ve'i ba'itema. If you prefer, say this. Yalif mi braito shel olam. The Tana learned this from the order of the creation of the world. Dichtiv, where it's written. Vayihi ere vayihi voker yom echad. And there was evening and there was morning. One day. So you can see from creation that there was evening first and then morning. That was one day. A question to this. Ihachi, if so... Seifa de katane bashacha mevarech shtaim lefanecha vachat lechareha. So in the end of the. So. In the end of the Mishnah. Uh, it says in the morning one recites two blessings before the Shema and one blessing after it. This will be coming up in. 
Duff uh, 11a. So we'll talk about this later. Uva erev mevarech shtaim lefanecha shtaim lech laachareha. And in the evening, one recites two blessings before the Shema and two after it. Litne but de'arvi beresha. Let the Tana teach the law regarding Shema of evening first. So that here's an answer from Gemara. Tana patach baravit. The Tana opens with the ruling regarding the, regarding the evening Shema. So we're going to uh, back to Tana Patach Ba'arvit. The Tana opens with the evening Shema, Behadatane Beshacharit, and then teaches about the morning Shema. Adataka Deka'e Beshacharit, while he's involved with laws with mourning, Paresh Mile Deshacharit, he explains matters of the morning. Vehadar Parish Mile Darvit, and then he explains matters about evening. And now uh, the Gemara considers the next statement in the Mishnah. Amamar, that was uh, Rabbi Eliezer. Misha'a sheha kohanim nichnasim le'echol bitrumatan. From the time that kohanim entered to eat their truma. Mikdei, now. Kohanim emat kag achle truma. When do kohanim eat truma? Misha'at seit ha-kochavim, from the time the stars appear in the evening. Litne misha'at seit ha-kochavim, let the Mishnah state from the time the stars appear. Why bother saying anything else? Milta agav urcheid kamashmalan. Tana teaches us something else in passing. Kohanim e matka achalei bitruma. When a kohanim permitted to eat truma, misha'at seit ha-kochavim, from the time the stars appear in the evening. Veha kamashma lan, and this is what the Tana means to teach us. De chapara lo makva, that the atonement does not hold back a kohen from becoming tahor in regarding to truma. Ki de tanya, as it was taught in a baraisa, ova hashemesh vataher. When the sun comes and the day has passed, biat shimsho maakavto milechol bitruma. The setting of the sun prevents him from eating truma. But his atonement does not hold him back from eating truma. And on what uh, does this expression, and when the sun comes, over Hashemesh, when does it how does it mean the setting of the sun? And this vetaher means the complete passing of the day.